Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about American politics, and we're going to talk about President Joseph Biden and how he has decided that he is not dropping out of the race, um, which is astounding, because we're like, hey, uh, buddy, uh, I know you were in the debate, but did you see the debate we saw? Like, you could, you need to watch the tape, man. So, uh, so first of all, um, Breaking Points is doing phenomenal coverage of this right now. And uh, they had on Abigail G- Disney. Now, Ab- Abigail Disney is uh, the heiress to the Disney fortune, right? And she has a ton of money, like like m- piles of it, like just like Scrooge McDuck type money, right? And she is, and she has been funding the Democrats for decades, right? And she just announced. She said, "Hey, uh, the you know, I'm turning the water, I'm turning, I'm turning the money fountain off. I'm not giving any more money." And she said. I hate that the party is trying to convince us that we didn't see what we plainly saw, right? And that's a very long, in my humble opinion, that's a long way around to say the Democrats are clearly gaslighting the obvious. And I think, and I think it's important. And gaslighting the obvious, uh, Ken, uh, I've been listening to Hark. I cannot stress enough. Uh, Hark is a new uh, app, and it cuts out the best parts of podcasts and put to, puts them together every day. It's phenomenal. I cannot, you got to get over there. It's really good. And so one of the podcasts was saying gaslighting the obvious. And it's just, it, we, we're used to gaslighting, right? But we're like, if there's a pizza on the table and they're like, mm, I wish there was pizza. You're like, there's a pizza on the table, right? Can we eat the pizza, right? And they're like, I wish we had pizza. Man, if we could only have a bite of hot, fresh pepperoni pizza. There's a pepperoni pizza on the table. Well, I really wish we had some pizza. You know, like, and people are like, what is happening? Right. And so honestly, even the Democrats are this, the Democrats routine on Hark, super, everything connected to podcasts is super liberal generally. Um, And, you know, podcast is just a naturally inherently super liberal thing. Right. So, um, but what really like blew my mind was like, they're, they are routinely referring to this as the disastrous debate performance. Right. And it was, it was catastrophic. Like, cause the whole world was like, oh, he can't be president. Uh, he can't order pizzas. Like he can't put in the pizza order. Like Sally's allergic to mushroom. And if he makes the pizza order, Sally going to die. Right? like, you know, it's like, he can't be the president. He can't order the pizzas for the, me- the meetings that any regular president would be in. Right. He can't listen to a sentence intellectually process it. And then say a sentence in co- in correspondence, right? Like he clearly can't be the president. So clearly everybody's like, okay, we're in a lot of trouble. Democrats are in a lot of trouble. Let's get to work replacing Biden. And Biden's like, I'm not getting replaced. You're not pushing me out. And they're like, hey, 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 hey. And there was a great George Stephanopoulos, right? Um, did an interview with him and said, hey, man, you know, if you're wrong and you can't do the job, Trump's going to get in and all these terrible things are going to happen. What's this, uh, you know, what do you have to say about that? And he's like, well, if I do the goodest job, I'm not joking. He literally said, if I do the goodest job, then that's, then I can, then I can say I'm, I'm happy with the result. And like, and the Democrats are like, no, that's not what this is about. This isn't about do you doing the best job you can do, buddy. Right. And good on you and uh and here's a here's a participation trophy no this is about the world like this is about billions of lives there's really not an not a, a life on this planet that is not affected by by the president by the u.s president for four years right and you cannot order a pizza like you can't go to the phone call domino's and order a pepperoni pizza you can't be the president like, it's like clear, right? Because you can't walk over to the phone and you can't talk when you get there, right? Like it's, and and everybody's like, what are you doing, Democrats? Like, and what's really astonishing, right? Is Abigail Disney put her finger on it, right? And, it, and I'm going to say this, but this has been said openly by many, many Democrats, right? Now, I, I definitely do not intend. Well, you know, that's interesting. I guess I could, uh, I could. I could vote Democrat if they choose the right guy to replace or or the right lady to replace uh, President Biden. So this is real. We are in an astonishing position at this point. I've never seen anything like this. Right. So but there, but here's the issue. At this point, the Democrat Party has become the party of chaos and gaslighting. Right. And it's wild because Trump lies through his lie. Trump, 
Trump is allergic to truth. He cannot have a true statement come out of his mouth, right? It, 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 I think it's physically painful for him, right? And yet, now, the, um, you know, the party of chaos and gaslighting is the Democrats. Now, why is Biden, uh, why is Biden worse than Trump at this point? Well, Trump is a bad guy, no question, right? But you know who you're voting for. You're voting for Trump, and he's going to make some governing decisions. You vote for Biden, you have no idea what you're voting for. I don't think you're voting for a human. I think by I think the last four years, Biden has clearly not made a single governing decision, and either an alien, a demon, or an AI made every governing decision. And that's why we're now in the start of World War III. We're six months away from the second American Civil War, and and people buy cars now the way they used to buy houses. Right, only only something that was non-human could, could could submit the American public to this much cruelty. In my humble, uh, only an alien, a demon, or an AI, something that had never really experienced humanity in a genuine way, right, um, could do this to us. Uh, the American dream has been destroyed in less than four years. Every single word you just heard is my humble opinion. The important part is when I get to hear your humble opinion, when you get in the comments and send your traffic. Please consider liking, subscribing, and have a fetch millennium.